hello everyone you are welcome to my youtube channel in the last video i made a video of a half ton staircase using this lisp program and this is what we had okay and then in this video we'll be making a similar thing but this is not a half ton stair it is a straight flight stair all right so let's just get into it as soon as possible but before we move on if you haven't subscribed to my youtube channel make sure you give me a subscription and turn on the notification button so that you can receive notifications whenever i post a new video and you can become the first person to watch it you only have one excel template for the half turn stair and the straight flight stair however in the excel there are two sheets okay this is one sheet for the um half turn you can see it is called stair one and then when you come to stair two you will see the other one for this straight flight stair okay so this is what you will be uh will be working with for the template it will come with the program when you when you ask for it okay so that is not um a big deal so now we will just adjust um little of this okay so you can see your straight uh, your straight stair it is like this and then you have your landing here and then here you do not have a landing because it is telling that here you have it from the ground floor okay so in that case you'll be having a beam you know it is being supported by a beam all right so now uh the beam there should be a little bit of you know like a blinding or a little bit of hardcore something like that you know it's just like a weak concrete you know to have a firm a firm base so here it can be um 0.005 and uh, which is equivalent to 50 mm okay it can be beyond it depends on uh whatever you want to attach to it and then here this is a little bit part that will be buried in the ground okay so this can be uh in 0 0.55 okay so that these two we had up to 0 0.6 all right now the next thing is to work with the step okay the step we actually start from the beginning of this beam okay so if you look at this this beam you might be wondering what the height of the beam will be the height of the beam is basically um you know is 0 0.55 that we have here in addition to um you know the first step okay so um now what is the number of steps let's have 10 okay so 10 is good enough and then the we are the length here I think what I used the other time was um two point four seven five, you know, for the last one. So I just want to repeat the same thing, and then here let the here be um one point two. Okay, here we can make it to be zero point four five, which is the beam there, and then this let that be zero point two three. Okay okay in that case then our our hay which is um you know a is the thread that will be equivalent to um 0 0.275 it is an approximation to 0 0.2 here but it's actually 0 0.275 depending on whatever you fix here will be what you have there so that is not a problem and then here i will make this to be equivalent to 1.5 okay so 1.5 divided by 10 that should be 150 so it should be having 0 0.15 here what else can you change you can change almost anything you want to change here you know the this 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 so this change it to two the cover change it to two all right that's the cover at that point and then the cover at this point two change it to um two although the cover is not a necessity because this is basically the detailing it's just putting the cover there for you know it's not a big deal and then here to change um two okay so all these reinforcements go ahead and change them there has no problem and then here you have a beam okay so these external beams the main beams okay they can be four made them to be four and then let this be um 16 okay 16 mm okay then you automatically have another two at the bottom and then this let this be 10 mm okay a spacing of what a spacing of 150 you are not even bothered about the spacing um here let's increase this to 0 0.5 you know that is the development length of this particular of this particular bar okay and here is 0 0.7 is not bad here is 0 0.5 let me change it to 0 0.85 okay so um what else just go ahead and change everything that needs to be changed and then when you're done always save okay now you go to autocad and then just come to a particular space that is here and then you pick your stair that's stair two right so click on stair two and then drop okay so now we have your stair okay personally i like giving this a a, a arch okay so just click on your arch and then pick 
gravel okay and then i will drop it like this boom okay so i have a arch there and then you can see your reinforcements you have four y16 and then here you have additional four so um which other thing everything is here okay everything is perfect whatever you want and then i've shown you some videos of how you can use the the tool to make amendments to whatever you do not really you know you do not really like so you do all that and then you work with them and another thing is that you can see this is deep enough the layer the text height everything you just need to print it like this you don't need to start changing the text height and everything like that this is you know it is perfect you just print it and it will be bold and you know very very easy like that so that will be the end if you have interest in the program you can always contact me with the details in my in my description and then if you like the video make sure you give it a like if you haven't subscribed yet kindly subscribe to my channel thank you for watching